lovelies. So, um, I actually really, really contemplated not doing a video today, um, which is weird for me, as you guys know, but, um, I have something called OCD thinking, and I have, um, minor, uh, OCD, just regular old OCD, but, um, I have something called OCD thinking, and I didn't even know there was such a thing, but evidently there is, and I have it. Um, it's a really, it's a really, really bad, how can I put this? I don't even know how to really explain it, but I was just going to say it's a really quick way to get yourself in a really bad headspace, and, um, it happens to me, I don't know, just really randomly, and I will start thinking about something, and it could be from 20 years ago, and I will go through arguments and conversations and what I would tell that person and how I would, like, make them understand something or, um, and I will just get lost in it. Like, I literally, it'll feel like five minutes that I've been in that thought, but it will be hours that I've just been sitting there in my head. And, um... I will just go over things and over things and over things and what that does for me is make my anxiety just bonkers um, and so that's what I've been doing and I don't know why but I did as soon as I start doing that I do know to take my medicine um, but it does make me very emotional and it takes me down a really long dark paths into things that I've healed from and things that I've moved past and um, things I haven't thought of in decades and then all of a sudden I am like right back in that place where I'm like how did I even remember this like I haven't thought about this or consciously thought about this in since that time really um but uh as i told you my story for september kind of all my guards are down and all of my mental illnesses just kind of come out and play so this is just another really fun one to add to the mix um but I have a really awesome haul to do for you guys. I have absolutely no energy to do it for you guys, but probably, hopefully tomorrow I will do it. Um, I just have a really, really awful sleep schedule right now, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I haven't even seen the sunshine in a couple days. That's how bad my sleep schedule is. Um, but I did calm down, so that's good. I was very tempted to go into my mom's room and wake her up, which is like, usually I only wake my mom up when I have like a migraine or the stomach flu or something like that where I like can't take care of myself. So it got pretty bad and it got pretty dark that I was thinking about waking my mom up in the middle of the night. Um, but then I was just like, you know what, Emily, you got this, like, you have the tools to, like, calm this down, like, grab a hold of it and just calm it down. I had nightmares last night, too, um, and, like, I don't know if you guys get this, but, like, I have nightmares that are, like, really bad, awful things, but then I also just have really long, exhausting, I call them anxiety dreams, um, they're just like long and exhausting and I don't feel like I've gotten like five seconds of sleep like just like how is my brain brain that active like thinking about stupid stuff when it's supposed to be like restoring myself and like taking care of my body like 
how does it have time to like think about all this stupid stuff? So um, I started watching like a horror movie. It was like about aliens and I don't know. I don't like stuff like that because it's so isolating those movies usually. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to change to something that's like a little more... Well, I'm watching like something that's supernatural, but it has like really cute characters and it's more, it's like really a lot like Once Upon a Time. It's called The Haven and it reminds me a lot of Once Upon a Time. It's just not fairy tale type things, but it's really cute and I like the characters. So I was like, I'm going to watch this instead because I cannot take another night of nightmares and whatever anxiety dreams because it's freaking exhausting. Um... I was like even thinking, I was like, because I put the these purple lights up that you'll see in my um, haul, but I was like, can purple lights make you like dream differently? Like, maybe I thought there was like an alien. I didn't dream about aliens, but I was like, maybe I think that there's like an alien taking over my room or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe they can just make you feel differently. I don't want you to go anywhere, Belle. Can you just stay here? I know you're not working, but can you just stay right here? Because you just want to go up by the camera and you're going to cover the whole camera. She's like, okay. Fine then. You're just going to be like that. Um, so, it's late or else I would probably wait a little bit longer and wait for my medicine to kick in and do a really happy, awesome haul for you guys. But it's really late and I want to get this video up. So... Hopefully tomorrow you have a happier, happier, healthier, painful hilarity. Um, I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. Um, if you ever want to talk to me and it's like not on my YouTube or you don't want to like mention something on my YouTube, um, I have all my information down below. I don't know. You just have to go down the down bar. And... Um, if you add me on Facebook, you can always message me on there. Um, a lot of people do. And as soon as I find my cell phone, crap. Yeah, I forgot about that. But I think I can still message you guys on my iPad. So I'm going to check that out. Um, but yeah, I can't find my iPhone. Why did I call it iPhone? I can't find my phone. Um, I think I just called it that because um, one of my friends just updated to the new iOS eight and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It makes my phone so freaking slow and I deleted so much stuff off of my phone. Like every single picture. Like I was like, I'm going to do this. Like it's going to be awesome. And this is like the only update I haven't liked and it's made it really slow. And so my messages don't even go through, but, um, yeah, I can't find it right now. <laughs> But as soon as I find it, I will check it out. But yeah, if you add me, I will add you. And um, we can message each other. But only if you want to. <laughs> uh, and it's still freaking September. I just want this month to be over. But, um, but I don't want fall and winter to come. It, hey, this is a question for you guys. Do any of you guys have... Um, does your fibro get worse in the colder months? For me, so much worse. Um, the only way that you guys would probably have not seen that is because this project started when I was in Florida. So um, my family goes there usually beginning like January, but we went last year in November um, or the month before. Um, and so we kind of beat out the winters here oh but i hate it and i hate to end i've been so bad with my fibro that i hate to end the summer feeling so sick with my fibro but you get what you get you know and i had a pretty good winter uh, winter i had a pretty good summer so we'll just be happy with that but, um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a free stress free day, and I'm sending exit to you guys, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!